Hey guys, Ryan Vexus here, and welcome back to more Mega Man X. So, when we last left off, we defeated uh, Spark Mandrill and got the Electric Spark. That's the name of his weapon. I apologize for not uh, saying it in the previous video. But other than that, today we are going to tackle Armored Armadillo. And he's probably my least favorite Maverick out of all eight of them here. For reasons that we will see soon. Anyways, let's get started. Alright, so this stage in particular is probably... This is probably the fan favorite stage because, you know... You can actually farm for a lot of things here. I'm gonna let that uh, minecart roll. There, you can ride the minecart all the way towards uh, I don't know where it, where it drops off. It drops you off in a pit. As long as you jump, you should be fine. See, even the minecart responds. But this stage is good for farming energy and lives because of these bats here. These bats will more than often drop energy for you, even the big pellets. As long as you keep going off screen and respawning them, they'll keep uh, dropping items for you. And they'll even drop lives every once in a while. But speaking of lives, as soon as I kill them, oh my god. Okay, let me let me stop. Gonna fill up my fucking uh, sub tank before I even get this bat right here. As you can see, this is a classic Mega Man bat. You see, he's different from uh, differently designed than all the other ones. And this guy is really good for farming lives if I can kill all these dudes. Getting in my way in my explanation. Yeah. As soon as you go off screen, this guy. This uh this guy has the biggest chance of dropping uh lives. And this is why everybody loves this level, because you can just go back here and farm lives off of this dude. Which is really cool. Let's see if he drops another one. Oh oh man, I'm getting lucky today. It usually takes like two or three tries before he drops uh, a life. Yeah, I'm at the maximum amount of lives anyway. You can only carry nine lives in this game. You can't get like 99 of them. That'd be that'd be weird if Mega Man had not 99 lives. But yeah, that's the thing. That's a little Easter egg, a little nod to classic Mega Man. Which speaking of classic Mega Man, why hasn't Capcom like explain like the whole transition from the classic to Mega Man X? I mean, I can I can make go into a whole argument about this or go into a whole video ex talking about this, but I'd rather explain it in later Mega Man X games where it makes sense because Zero is not that relevant in this game as of now. He'll be relevant in the uh, in the second and third game and fourth game especially because that's where the conversation is going to come up probably when I get to X4 in the near future. But other than that, I'm just going to keep it I'm just going to keep it silent for now because a lot of people don't know, you know, what happened to the original classic Mega Man and why X was even created in the first place. But anyways, coming down here, get your flame weapon ready. We're going to trigger this dude. Just make sure you uh, jump. To the left here, we got an energy tank. I think that's our third one in the entire game. And if we if we're fast enough, we can if we can kill this uh, mechanoloid, we will be able to get an upgrade, or not an upgrade. <laughs> we'll be able to get some energy uh, energy pellets here, which is cool. Fill up our energy tanks. See, we already got one filled up. Ooh, jeez. Almost fell on the spikes there. If this were Mega Man uh, 1, I'd probably be dead. <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, yeah. This stage is really bat-intensive. Like, I, I wish I were lying here. There are a lot of bats in this stage. A lot of bats in this stage. Like, I'm not even joking the amount of bats that are in this level. It annoys me sometimes, but they give you energy anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not even gonna waste time with them, I'm just gonna keep going. 
Yeah, the minecart uh, stage is probably the quickest one out of all of them because the minecart will just take you, just zip you through the entire level like that and you can just run through everything. Drop some energy, please. I really need it. No energy, please. Please, energy. There- Ah, oh, You bastard. Come on, bats. Please. Okay, that's a little- That's a little bit of the energy there. Come on, now. We're almost filled up to the max. God damn it. <laughs> Stupid bat. I know. Thrilling gameplay, I know, but I need full HP. I just need it. Oh, fuck it. I don't need it anymore. Well, I didn't want to do that. I don't want to waste energy like that. No. Fuck these bats. Ah. There we go. God. Alright, get your flame weapon ready, because we got another one of these guys here. Kill him straight away. If you don't, you're going to miss your chance how to upgrade. Because he will destroy the platform that you need to get on it. Because past this tunnel, we have... Oh my... Whoa, that charge shot goes a long way. Anyways, up here, we got ourselves a heart tank. If you didn't kill that mechanoloid on the way here, guess what? You wouldn't have been able to get it, because he would have destroyed the platform. Along with the heart tank. I don't know if the heart tank is still spinning in midair like that. Actually, I think he would have just caved it in. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's... uh. That's the heart tank for this level. So we basically got all the upgrades except for that one upgrade that we are not going to get until way later. Because it's technically optional and you don't have to get it because it requires like a bunch of things for you to even get it. But I'm getting it, goddamn, because it's the definitive thing in this game that everybody remembers when talking about Mega Man X. Alright, we're heading up to Armored Armadillo. My least favorite Maverick in the entire game. Because even with his weakness, he is still a hard son of a bitch to beat. So just get that, get your uh, electric spark weapon ready. And be in for some pain. This guy has caused me a lot of trouble when I've speedrun this game before, but let's see well, if we can get it or not on the first try. I've already, uh, I've already scrapped a recording session of this uh, level already because of spark. Uh, because of Armored Armadillo. So, hopefully I don't have to make it a second scrap recording. I really don't want to. I just want to get this over on my first try. I probably won't, though. My only strategy for him is when he... When he gets out of his roll animation... Make sure... To jump or shoot him with this, uh... With this thing. I see that's my problem. I always face towards the left. Ooh. You see, that's the thing. It, that's his rolling attack. His rolling attack is usually the thing that kills me. He always spams it and he and it goes on for so long that eventually uh you'll lose a bunch of HP from that. I, I'll usually get like two or three chances with this guy before I'm all my weapon energy is depleted, so let's just hope that I can get it on my first try. Ooh. Come on. I got him in a good pattern here. Oh yeah, I gotta remember that it hits the wall too. There we go, finally. Oh boy, that boss usually goes south for me every time I uh every time I fight him. Oh boy. Well that's uh armor armadillo done in a nutshell. My I guess for my whole tip for you, actually I'll tell you the tip after we see his upgrade. You get the rolling shield. It's an alright weapon, I guess. 
that's our password screen. Anyways, what I was gonna, my tip for Armored Armadillo is wait until he gets out of his rolling animation and then shoot him with the electric spark. That will cause his armor to be destroyed and basically he's vulnerable for the rest of the fight because with his armor on, if you shoot him with his weakness, he'll just shield you from the front with his like little arm shields. Kind of like Mega Blastoise, how he has his arm cannons, but he'll just block your shots. And if you shoot him with the Mega Buster, while the armor is on, guess what? He'll absorb your energy and shoot it right back at you, and it sucks. So, that's why I don't re ever recommend fighting Armored Armadillo with a Buster. It, it, it really, it's really bad. <laughs> I mean, I've speedrunners do it, but I can't do it. It's too fucking hard for me. I just, I just use his weakness every single time. But other than that... He's done and over with. So next time on Mega Man X, we are heading to, I think, Launch Octopus, actually. So, see you guys next time. <laughs>